Hi, I'm Ryan Smith, and uh, I'm a professor in the physics department here at Cal State East Bay. You signed up for a lab, but you might be wondering what you're going to get out of it. We often look at the world in terms of models, which is why we pick things like this, things that you can touch and, and see, because those are the things that correspond to our daily experience. And so we hope that by interacting with these systems and being able to learn how to describe them in perhaps ways that you've never learned before how to describe things, that you'll, you'll find that you can actually glean more information than you have originally found at the surface. What is inquiry-based physics? As one of the lab instructors, I can tell you that I'd like to know myself. So, okay, so what we're going to do here, this is, uh, we're going to do a new sequence right here. Uh, I'm going to go out and interview uh, several other doctors, uh, perhaps Dr. Furness and Dr. Kimball and Dr. Helgren, and have you in a sentence or so, off, maybe off the top of your head, tell me what you think inquiry-based physics is. A second question would be, perhaps, why we're doing inquiry-based physics on the student's behalf. And third, we'll probably shoot these in your lab setting, uh, your research labs. And perhaps you can, from your point of view, talk about how you do inquiry-based physics every day in the advance of science. And then we're going to go from there to a summary sequence of what you guys said perhaps a question and answer, and then uh, a lead into our closing sequence. So we hope that you have a fun time uh, taking data in your labs, analyzing it, figuring out how to make sense of things, and we hope that you have a great term here at Cal State East Bay.